So yesterday we didn't get around to touching on every little bit of what we learned about Modern Warfare 3 since we put together our little guide on everything you need to know about the campaign early access. But today I want to circle back and let you know about what all is happening with multiplayer that we've seen debuted so far. While campaign kicks off tomorrow, we actually got a secondary blog taking a look at some of the basic comms for multiplayer with more blogs and details coming in the next few days. But as a preliminary look at what's upcoming for the full offering, and there's a lot. So today we're breaking down what you need to know. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What do you think of what's been detailed so far? Anything that you're hoping to see expanded upon in the coming days? Anything you're excited to hear about in the coming days out of other communications? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you'll find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay there with all things Modern Warfare 3 coverage, news, tips, guides, and more here as we gear up for the full launch of the game. We're chasing that lofty goal of 550,000 subscribers by launch. So if you'd like to join and stay in the loop, I'd love to have in the community. Finally, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market where code Espresso can get you 10% off your entire order, but more on that a little later. For now, let's jump into how Modern Warfare 3 had a large bit of its multiplayer offering fully revealed. First, just get the stuff that we already know out about this. This blog did contain all the information on the launch maps, that being the original Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps in the 6v6 play. So that'll include Afghan, Derail, Estate, Favela, High Rise, Invasion, Karachi, Quarry, Rundown, Rust, Scrapyard, Skid Row, Subbase, Terminal, Underpass, and Wasteland. So they provided a few more shots of like Wasteland and Underpass, but those are the maps we already knew about. Ground War, we already knew about the maps of Orlov Military Base and Pop-Off Power. We played on both those in the beta already, but they did detail the new map of Levin Resort, where it had a description of tourists and business travelers alike used to flock to the Levin Resort, enjoying the poolside seating and abundant shopping and services within. It's now a vacant site. The nearby statues of General Barkov defaced following his downfall, tread carefully through the resort courtyard where vantage points from multiple angles present danger to those below. So we got a little bit of a basic look at that. It doesn't give any detailing in terms of what the map itself will play like, any sort of lanes or anything larger than just that initial resort building. But beyond that, we learned about Operation Spearhead, the first of our war experiences here within Modern Warfare 3, detailed as inside a linear corridor within the military bases and silos, which is Countdown from COD 4, where players have to clear anti-aircraft defenses so armored vehicles can be airdropped, staying close to the armor to break through the launch site, and set up missiles over head. That'll be in 6v6 play, so we get a little bit of a basic understanding of all our playgrounds here on offer with the full game, but then they detailed something that is brand new to a lot of people and maybe a weirder announcement, but surprisingly is still true to fashion from the very first leaks about Modern Warfare 3. The maps from Modern Warfare 2 are actually going to be carrying forward to some degree in Modern Warfare 3. So it was stated, to further augment an already impressive selection of core 6v6 maps, we are excited to announce that a number of fan-favorite Modern Warfare Warfare 2 maps will gradually become available to play in Modern Warfare 3 throughout the live seasons. The initial selection, scheduled to be four core 6v6 maps that include Farm 18, Mercado, and Shoot House, the fourth of that list has not been announced just yet, you probably guess that's going to be shipment though, are scheduled to come shortly after launch in a dedicated playlist, and more will follow throughout the live seasons. Here's some of the beneficial intel about these additions. These maps are graphically identical to how they appeared in Modern Warfare 2, and due to the innovations in movement and general gameplay mechanics, you may find they play different altogether, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing how this will play on the Modern Warfare 3 mechanic set, but they also said these maps are completely additive, meaning that they are scheduled to appear in addition to a full complement of new and remastered seasonal maps and other content. So what we've already seen detailed in regards to those three brand new maps in Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 and three brand new maps in Modern Warfare for three season two and whatever else comes beyond that's not going to take away from that number at all. It's only simply going to add on top of it. Now, is it new content? No, but it's more content that you can interact with in Modern Warfare 3, which I think is the key distinction here with this. They also said that new Modern Warfare 3 modes, such as Cutthroat, will not be playable on these carry forward Modern Warfare 3 maps. So it seems like this is all going to kind of be in its own like legacy map pack, I guess, if you want to call it that, where it's its own playlist and it doesn't seem like you'll be able to queue into those normally, but we'll see how that all plays out. But an interesting detail that we learned about as of yesterday, no less. Then, for game modes, we ended up learning about all the game modes at launch, that being TDM, Domination, Search and Destroy, Kill Confirmed, Free For All, Hardpoint, Control, War, Cutthroat, Gun Game, Ground War, and Invasion. The only one that kind of surprises me is a little bit of a focus more so on those party game modes, with Gun Game being there from day one, though I'm not upset about that at all. It's just something we've seen that in the 
couple of the last years not at launch. So I'm for that though. We also have detailing that hardcore will be there at launch. So featuring a limited HUD, low health, friendly fire enabled, and other gameplay changes like that is scheduled for launch. So we don't have that weird sort of in-between mode like tier one last year. Instead, it's what you know, and it's hopefully something that has content parity with all playlists from day one. Modern Warfare 2 was very bad at keeping up with giving hardcore players what they should have had in regards to featured playlists, and they got very minimal updates to the hardcore modes. So anyways, that's something that'll be at launch. Private matches were something detailed. Of course, you'll have regular private matches, customizable as always, but they also detailed a new training course where you can learn basic movement and combat skills as you navigate one of the launch core 6v6 maps as a solo player. So that'll be interesting to see how that all plays out and if there's any sort of customization that goes into that in the future or maybe even shortly there after launch. And also they detailed the benchmark, maybe perhaps PC exclusive like we have now in Modern Warfare 2, but that's going to be coming back as well. But that's the game modes here for launch. They listed all the operators as well, new and returning ones and how to unlock them. So with Modern Warfare 3, there's 25 additional Modern Warfare 3 operators, 13 for Spec Crew and 12 for Cortac. Now, some are instantly accessible. Others are locked behind in-game challenges across multiplayer, campaign, zombies. You have to do a basic challenge to end up getting those. Just like in Modern Warfare 2 and in games prior though, if as the season goes on, you end up getting an operator skin for an operator that you didn't have unlocked, that will give you that version version of the operator. It's just the base will still need to be unlocked, but you can use that skin and the operator accordingly. You just don't have the basic default one. But additionally, Modern Warfare 2 also will carry forward all those operators that are usable immediately as well. So as we'll touch on in a second, there's a large host of operators on offer. But for Spec Crew, let's run down some of these challenges. Price and Ghost are available with their Nemesis Reactive skins available from the Modern Warfare 3 Vault Edition purchase, but it seems like those will just be categorized as well in the existing Price and Ghost skins. So just adding on to those. Blueprint and Rocket are milsims, which are initially available. Byline is unlocked after completing a challenge in multiplayer. Scorch and Ripper are unlocked after completing a challenge in Modern Warfare Zombies. Pathfinder is a campaign challenge unlock. Warrior is available after purchasing the Call of Duty Endowment Warrior Pack on November 10th. Riptide is available through a challenge in multiplayer, as is BBQ and Jet. And Jabber is again additionally available as a campaign challenge as well. For the Cortac operators, Warden and Makarov are available via the Modern for three vault edition purchase but it doesn't have any information beyond that or if we're going to have to wait a couple of months like we did with the red team 141 packs before we end up getting additional warden and makarov unlocks or challenges even to unlock those base operators but right now it's only detailed as the nemesis reactive skin blaze and thirst milsims are initially available alpine enigma bantam raptor and swagger are all available as challenges for multiplayer doc and corso are campaign challenge unlocks and then lockpick is available as a PlayStation exclusive operator when pre-ordering digitally on PlayStation of either the base cross-gen or the vault edition. So that's something that gives you those 25 additional new Modern Warfare 3 operators, but I think somebody tallied it up that the existing operators with everything included is 90 now. So you have a lot of operators to choose from with everything transferring over now at this point if you were to have every single one of them, plus all the new ones coming with Modern Warfare 3. So that's a lot of stuff we did learn about Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer experience, but there still is a lot of stuff that has been left out. Kill and score streak details, weaponry details, everything we'll see on offer in that armory, weapon camos, the progression systems, and prestige, all that kind of stuff we still have no information on, but we do have a lot of stuff coming that will be detailed in the next few days. It's already detailed that there are four additional blog posts coming where one's a deep dive into loadouts for multiplayer and warzone, gearing you up for the evolution of perks, the gloves and boots and gear system, tacticals, lethals, field upgrades, and kill streaks. Another blog is to up your arsenal, talking about all your primary and secondary weapons at launch, confirming those, talking about aftermarket parts, weapon balancing passes, the gunsmith and the statistical overhaul, all that kind of stuff. Another one is about cosmetic customization with weapon camos and talking about how this could be the biggest weapon progression feature in Call of Duty history, detailing immense multiplayer and zombie camo challenges and weapon mastery systems for Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Again, going to put it out there, really hoping for an Ultra Mastery camo grind, doing everything here for that, but that's something we'll talk about later. And the last blog we can expect is a Modern Warfare Zombies launch content overview. So detailing basically everything you'll need to know about zombies going into launch. And if I'm taking any guesses, we're probably not going to have anything tomorrow drop since that's campaign early access and when it happens for everybody. So everybody's going to be taking a look at campaign, playing that, experiencing that. They're not going to drop new information that would try and take away from that or compete with rather 
they're just going to let that probably have its day in the limelight, or at least that'd be my guess. I'd expect, though, again, based off of some educated guesses, that we'd see a blog post Friday to get us through into the weekend, a blog post Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then Thursday, nothing, since the global launch starts with New Zealand for us, like in the States here. Midnight local time into November 10th in New Zealand is like, I wanna say 4 a.m. Pacific, 7 a.m. Eastern. Might be wrong by like an hour or two on that, but I'm imagining that nothing would be scheduled blog-wise with new info since the game's basically rolling out all throughout that entire day of next Thursday. So maybe expect like a launch trailer, but I'm thinking tomorrow's out of the picture and then one a business day until launch at that point. So that is where we're at here. A lot of details already explained about Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer. More upcoming that we'll keep you in the loop with on everything. So that is where we're going to call it. Before we wrap everything up, make sure you get my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market. I've been working with these guys for about three years now, which is number one, just crazy to me how long it's been. But number two, I will still swear by these guys. Absolutely. They're the most lightweight, comfortable, and durable frames out there. And while they're a bit more of an investment than say the pairs you can find for cheap on Amazon, I truly believe in the build quality and the lenses they use. Investing in your vision health is absolutely something that I'd recommend, but I can't do nearly enough justice for what they do in terms of providing details for their product, the clinical study, behind all of it. All that is linked in the description below, which at the very least, I suggest you just check it out and learn more about it for yourself. But if you want to pick up a pair for yourself or anything, code Espresso can get you 10% off your entire order linked down below. But that said, that is what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of the multiplayer details already revealed for Modern Warfare 3? Are you looking forward to what we have on offer? Are you looking forward to hearing about anything else? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay there with all things Modern Warfare 3 as we gear up for a very, very busy next few weeks here. I'd love to have in the community and keep you up to date with everything. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.